me. Ricotta. Yay, it's working. Uh, this morning I made a little bit of marinara sauce starting. And right now I am making ricotta cheese. And the reason I'm doing it is because we get raw milk from these wonderful people. And because of the craziness of last week with all the chicken processing, um, we just didn't do a lot with our milk. And so today was my day to go pick up milk. So three gallons of milk, which is way more. We usually make something, yogurt, this and that, and use one. So today I am making ricotta cheese. And so I thought, well, I better just take you along. So I put in one gallon of whole milk and one teaspoon, actually I put in almost two teaspoons of citric acid. And then I put in one teaspoon of cheese salt. And it doesn't have to be cheese salt, but it can't have any minerals in it. So I went to a store and bought cheese salt some time ago. So I have cheese salt. And then you just put it in the pan and you stir it all together and you heat it up to 185 or 195. Anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. So, and um, I'm making videos and I am doing the squash and got to cut the cucumbers up and get them so that they can be pickled. But otherwise I'm not doing anything today. How about you? All right, I hope that you can see how curdly it looking it is. And we are at one seventy, right around one seventy. Well, it's not turning out as good as I'm used to it turning out. So we'll see whether this comes out. I let it set for about 10 or 15 minutes after it reached 190 because it just wasn't working very well. And you know, it's interesting. I watched a professional show once on ABC, I think it was a cooking thing, Mario's cooking thing. And they had a guest on there who makes cheese all the time. And he made one right in front of everybody and it didn't work. Just like this one doesn't appear that it's working. And so he was really bummed. He goes, no, this doesn't happen. I mean, just like every fluky time, you know, once in a while. And um, then he made another batch and it worked perfect. So, I don't And you pick it all up and you strain this out. It's very hot. <laughs> so I should go get gloves on. Anyway, you strain it out like that. And I'm going to add a little bit more to it. See? Ricotta! Yay! It's working! Well, it's been sitting here for about a half an hour. And I put three quarts, almost three quarts of whey into the refrigerator so I can do my fermented vegetables and all different kinds of things. When things call for whey, I have my stuff. Now, let me put this down on here so you can see it as I unwrap this beautiful container. And Jim, may I have an assistant please? How about if you grab a plate for me? Perfect. All right. <laughs> Ooh. Now. That looks awesome. So I'm going to show you that it isn't just like a mozzarella thing, that it is 
ricotta. Whoa. Did I get some on the floor? All of her. No, I didn't. Okay, so let me test it. Can I test it too? So, I think I've took a little too much of the whey out, so I might add a little bit of um. A little more whey in the Whey back, back in, so that it's not so. So you can get the way back machine going. Way back. Don't do too much. And then can you, no, you're not good at pouring, are you? I'm great at pouring. <laughs> Where am I pouring it? Right into that. Into this? Yeah. Wait, wait, you're blocking the camera. They need to see your mess. Don't upstage the, the pouring. I'm not seeing a mess. Do you see a mess? I don't see a mess. I'm doing good. You've learned me well. I'm going to have it full oh. before I get to the end. This is much better with the whey in here. Pour just a tiny bit more in. That's good. Just oh, leave you, that. You, you wanted a real tiny bit. Yep. Where's the lid for this? Down there in the cupboard. I am making a patty pan squash lasagna. So I don't have a lot of sauce. So we're just going to go with what we've got. So I've got hamburger, grass-fed burger in here with tomatoes from our garden that have been seasoned and cooked down with um, basil and oregano and Italian seasoning. And then this is the ricotta cheese that I made yesterday. And I have it mixed with egg and Parmesan cheese. And so I layer that on here. And then I layer. I just realized I probably should have put the squash on the very bottom, and I didn't. So then I'm going to put mozzarella cheese on here. And then I'm putting squash instead of pasta. And then I'm going to layer it again. Yep, I should have put it on the bottom. So if you're making this, put it on put a layer on the bottom. And if you don't want meat, then just put your sauce. I've given up a long time ago using a recipe. I made this for years, so I just put a bunch of ricotta cheese and my light just went out. And a couple of eggs, probably half, uh, at least a third of a cup of, mozza, of Parmesan. What I did with the squash is I like parboiled it so that it's already pre-cooked. Everything in here is pre-cooked and we're just warming it up. My light's deciding to come on and off whenever it wants to. Okay, that was a pound of ground beef, two patty pans squashes, and we'll end up with mozzarella cheese on the top, and then I'll put it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes to a half an hour because this is not um, 
pasta that has to get cooked or not that we don't use cooked pasta when we do it but and it's very hot already so and because I've got this one so full I'm going to put a pan underneath it as I cook it otherwise I get the joy of cleaning my stove All right, there it is. Are you ready? Ooh, there is the lasagna. Look at that beautiful baby. Whoa. Can't wait to taste that, but there is something that you need to experience with us. All right, it's kombucha time. Which one is which? Doesn't matter. Lemonade, kombucha. We both took a little taste of this earlier today and we're pleasantly surprised. Because remember, we have no frame of reference for what it's supposed to taste like. Tastes like lemonade with a little kick of nutmeg and a little spike to it. And it's healthy. And it's healthy. Okay. No sugar added. All from that. No, there's sugar. But somehow the way as it sits does something with the sugar. So what kind of sugar? Coconut sugar. That's pretty good. Very refreshing. Yep. I feel better already. <laughs> Let's have some lasagna. Okay. 